know that's an auspicious way to start a tag team contest. And no longer is your majesty, Jennifer Cruz, alongside me. We have Jana, the lovely Jana, the WSU Hall of Famer. Hello, 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 hello. Well, it's good to see you here back in WSU. I know under your new management, it's great to see you at full steam ahead. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. It looks like it's, you know, so far with the show, it's, you know, like, like the name is, full speed ahead, you know. We're going full speed, nothing stopping at WSU from doing what it does, and that's providing some of the best in women's wrestling. Absolutely, that's absolutely true. You know, and right now we got a big tag team in attraction. You know, you know, Annie Social and Kimberly really wanted to have this be a WSU tag team championship match, but due to the fact they really haven't had a chance to move up the rankings such to get a championship match, WSU management told them the petition. The petition was unsuccessful, believe it or not. And now Annie Social and Kimberly, they are looking to gain themselves a tag team opportunity the hard way. And look at that, double team continuity there from Kimberly and Annie Social. Nice drop kick from the top, and now here comes Sassy Stephanie. You know, I've, I've had a chance to face the Midwest Militia. Unfortunately, I wasn't as successful as I would have liked to have been, you know, me and Latasha, but you know, they are, they're an excellent tag team. They know what they're doing. They know who they are as a tag team. So, you know, you know, Kimberly and um, Andy Social really have their work cut out for them. Absolutely, you know, you had the tag team championships at the fifth anniversary show. You won them for a mere matter of moments. And it seemed the Midwest Militia cashed in on their number one contendership very quickly. The WCU management at the time allowed it. And you guys lost the WSU tag team championships and then lost a return match a few months later. Yeah. It, it's one of those things where you're kind of put in a situation where, unfortunately, you know, the cards aren't decked, you know, stacked in your favor, and, you know, they, they took advantage of, of a situation that, you know, I kind of have to respect them for doing. Because, you know, you have to take, adva take advantage of every situation you can. This is not, you know, ballet. <laughs> Absolutely, that's true. But meanwhile, the Midwest Militia look like they're having problems against the team of Annie Social and Kimberly. Social, the double clothesline, taking down the champions. Again, if they defeat the champions here in a non-title match at full steam ahead, I can basically guarantee they might be in contention sooner than later for a WSU Tag Team Championship match. Now, you know, Jan, I do want to ask you one thing while I have you here. You know, it seems like you've been on, you've been stressed out, it seems, as of late in WSU. Jennifer Cruz really has your number. I have to ask you, what's your mindset right now? My mindset is, you know, basically to do everything I can to make her life a living hell. Because that's what she's done to me for the past, what, year? Yes, absolutely. You know, ever since the king and queen, I believe, when you hurt your shoulder, and then she she cheated the win. Yeah, that I mean that put me out for a little bit, but you know what? She 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 wants to sit there and say, "Oh, I'm undefeated for 2012." That doesn't mean anything. Well, and uh, fortunately, that kick meant yeah, a lot to Annie Social. It definitely did. Social got kicked extremely hard right in the midsection with that kick. It was vicious in its delivery. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. Ow. Allison K really digging in with those AK-47 oh. Kimberly trying to get any social riled up here. You know, in this contest again. But, I mean. You know, Kimberly is getting very riled right now. But the Midwest Wars are really double teaming here. You know, this this is a, a, a classic tag team strategy. Do everything you can, especially when the ref's not looking. That's <laughs> exactly. Meanwhile, I think I think both teams looking to show uh, they're better in every sense of the word, physically and r in the ring. Yeah. Around well, any social really suffering here at the hands of Sassy Stephanie right now. You know, Sassy Stephanie, former Spirit champion, current tag team champion. She really has. She's done a lot here in WSU, but they're all under the the mindset, under the learning tree of Jessica Havoc. Yeah, and you know, Jessica Havoc. You know, I have not had a chance to face her in the ring yet. But just from being an observer, you know she's one of the most vicious women I've seen in the last God. Oh, well, she's got a she got a tough task ahead of her later tonight. But the militia right now are in firm control. They, is Sassy Stephanie has that gut wrench firmly applied on. It's a submission, like a reverse bear hug of sorts, really trying to, to grasp at the, the air for any social. Unbelievable right now. Sassy Stephanie really has that hold wrenched in on Annie Social. But Annie's not giving up. That's the most important thing. She's not giving up. 
That is absolutely true. And Annie, Annie, I've wrestled Annie oh. a ton of times. Um, she <laughs> looked like social hit her a little low. I don't know how much damage it did. It must have done enough. <laughs> um, Another strike to Sassy Stephanie taking down. And so. You want to Come on! Come on! There's a quick tag again. The militia showing their continuity as a tag team. Going right back to work. Allison Kane and Sassy Stephanie are a well oiled unit, Jana. They, they, they've certainly, as time has gone on, they've gotten more cohesive. But I have to, I have to give my props to Annie. I've, I've wrestled Annie a ton of times, both in singles and in tag team matches, and she knows what she's doing too. You know, and I'm sure with with Kimberly, she's picked a great partner. Just right now, it's not working out for them. But that doesn't mean, you know, fortunes oh. always change. Ow. Did you hear that kick to I the back? I kind of almost felt it. Annie Social has been on the downward spiral of the attack of the Midwest Militia for the past several minutes. What are they looking to do here? I don't know. Come on. Is the ref going to allow this? The referee's letting this go. Annie Social really has a serious, has to have a serious injury to her ribs after being stretched out like that. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's looking for that's, that's not even legal. The ref has to referee's letting a lot of leeway go, especially with the militia. You want to tag you three? There you go. Allison K is relentless. Really bad feeling that if they keep pushing Kimberly, she's not gonna, you know, let herself be restrained too much longer. She, because this, you can't, you know, when you're dealing with your partner, that's, you know, that you travel together, you train together, you strategize together. That's almost like family. You can't. You Allison Cage, you're unrelentless with those strikes to the back. Only two says referee Johnny Q. But this matchup continues regardless. Allison K, you know, the AK-47, the pupil of Jessica Adams we alluded to earlier, but she truly has learned a viciousness and evil nature of, of Jessica Havis, but this is coming into a serious situation here. Any social couldn't even run and make it across the rope. Social's getting kicked extremely hard. Yeah, when it's your stomach, you have no ability. You can't breathe, you oh. can't move. But there's the heart of social. They're kicking out at the last possible second. Kimberly stuck on the apron. She can't even get in the ring. Really just laying in those strikes to the back. Shot to the back again from Sassy Stephanie. You know, the Midwest militia, when it, once they focus on a little body part or an injury, they will attack it like a piranha in the fish tank, Jana. Yeah, they stay on, they stay on it, and that's, you know, that is you know, one of the best strategies to do is to, once you find that weak point, you stay on and stay on and stay on and you break it down. And that's what they're doing, so I can't, you know, as much as they're not my favorite people, I can't really, I can't really blame them. They, they're the champions, they have the titles, they can, you know, it, you're absolutely right. You can't fault their facts, they are the champions for a reason. You know, and, and it's up, and if they, if Annie and, and Kimberly want that, that opportunity to become tag champs, they have to really fight for it. So. Absolutely. And they're not going to make it easy for them. Oh, and at the last possible second, Social dropping with a split, split-legged face buster. Can Social get to that corner and make a tag? Can she do it? He's a tag to Allison K. Can Social get there? Oh, Social makes a tag, but here comes Kimberly. Split-legged jaw checker. Into Gure. Kimberly, the proverbial house of fire. Whoa! High and tight on that German suplex. Only two. That was close. I mean, Kimberly's been waiting for a long, long time. She's got a lot of aggression built up, and I think she's going to put it out on them right now. 
There you go. Kimberly climbing to the high risk district. Risk or reward. Oh, wait a minute, Some, Kimberly just landed hard, high and tight on that left knee. She landed high and tight on that left knee. Wait a minute. Oh, kiss by Sass to Annie Social. Well, Social is not the legal woman. Kimberly. The ref's got to get them off her. I have just been informed by referee Johnny Q that Kimberly is unable to continue. Therefore, this match has been thrown out. Well, this match has been thrown out by, as I was told by referee Johnny Q, this match has been thrown out. Kimberly might have really, she might have definitely, definitely tweaked something, more than tweaked something in that left. She can't even put any pressure on it. Yeah, when, when you're dealing with the injury. Oh! Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? You know, it takes a lot for a referee to actually decide to stop a match due to injury. Wow! For them to do that, you know, that shows that they have no sense of respect for their opponents. It's just... Unbelievable. This is getting to be... That, did you see that kick? That was unnecessary. Un I, I'm speechless on that, on that fact. I am speechless. Spe the Midwest militia should be damn near ashamed of what just transpired. Unbelievable. There's Unbelievable. People don't forget to shit your fucking mind.